right, kids, time for bed. Come on, I'll tuck you in, in a little bit. Oh, hi. Welcome. You're just in time for the party. Would you like a cheese puff? Hello. I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm having a dinner party and I seem to run out of coffee. You can be anything you want to be there. You can see anything you want to see there. There's excitement in the air for you and me there. Fancy free there. Take your family there, but you've got to be there. Welcome to a very cold, blustery evening. Yes, here in Scarborough, it's nithered, as we'd say up here. Well, we'd, I'll just let Peggy out, and it was a uh, really cold rain. But it's, yeah, it's cold. It's cold. It's that weird snow this morning. Yeah. I hope you can hear us. I hope you can see us. I hope it's all working. Papa, well. can you hear us? Mm, Papa, can you see us? Papa, can you help us not be fried? Mm. Papa, can you see it? Um. Welcome to Wednesday night, back in the wig and slingback. As yeah, it's been a while. We did a Friday, didn't we, not long ago? But... We did a Friday, and then I jetted off to Kuala Lumpur, mm. and uh, spent a week in Malaysia. in Malaysia, jetted back, had jet lag, Yeah, and then, yeah, here we are. And here we are. So near December, isn't it? Yeah, let's have a look. Who is in our Who's in the house, various sir? bars? So in I'm the... glad we opened the doors early. We're, in... eight, we're eight feet to be stood outside in this weather. In the public bar... The, the busy one. Let's have a look. The loud, the, the raucous one. Well, we've got um, Jason Darcy, who's, of course, our um, girl on the door, mm. um, checking names on, on the register. She's been on room. our door for years, hasn't she? But he's also popped his handbag on one of the tables, so he's got he's got his space when he needs it. Yes. Tracy 30's in as well. Hello, Tracy, over in upstate NYC, in ya? Um, Angela Larson is here. Angela is in California. California, yay. Uh, so welcome to you stateside people. Karen Avey is here from Ontario, uh, Canada, which I'm sure is nithered also. Would Ontario be nithered? It would be, wouldn't it, around this time of year? I think so. I think our, friend, our friend Ben's got snow in Canada. In Canada. Um, Scylla Black is here. Now, I didn't know if Scylla Black would be here because Scylla is everywhere. Scylla's, like, get, Scylla's getting a revamp. Yeah, social media's gone Scylla crazy. Especially the Scylla-grams. Scylla-grams and memes. I mean, we've been playing scylla for years yeah. here. We were the first to start this. <laughs> we were. But there is a campaign to get Scylla Black surprise to prize to Christmas number one. Wouldn't that be marvellous? Um, it's apparently, I think it's 60 years to this month that Scylla kind of released her first single. Oh, around when, when, when Doctor Who was... was... Yeah, oh yeah. So it would be a nice little uh, tie-in, wouldn't it? Yeah. And it's I think it might be 80 years since Scylla oh, was born. Oh, it would be lovely. Born. Scylla, you would love that, wouldn't you? And we would love that too. So there is a campaign to get Scylla's surprise surprise to number one. A couple of our chums on Instagram have started it. Um, we're trying to get Zoe Ball involved. So watch this space. Um, but yeah, Scylla's here, which have is a Have a Scylla delight. Christmas. Have a celebration this Christmas. Right, who else is here? Um, Andrew Chapman's in. Hello, Andrew, my lovely. Ludlow um, and bloody Cahoon. <laughs> and the pug dogs. Um, Stuart, we hope you're gradually getting better and getting the um, rest and recuperation you need to get yourself better again. We think Scarborough. Scarborough did your gams in. Um, the Duchess is Just here. Just my gams in. 
trust the Duchess. The Duchess is here. The, the Duchess, do you know that my bike is called the Duchess, isn't it? It is. So my, um... Her legs come with that bad look. She said she's sorry she's late because she's been doing the the star on the crop at the top of the tree. Oh, Cahoon. <laughs> you and Ludlow. I thought it'd be a bloody fairy up there, top there, dolls. Uh, Coral Daft is in. Hello, Coral. Oh, Coral sent me a picture today. With, she's got a very, very, very little buckle of jam shed. Carol, look at I've got, I've got proper sized jam shed. She said that's all, all that Paul could get, but <laughs> at least it's jam shed. Paul's not here tonight. Paul's glued to the Arsenal, says um, Coral. We think that's a reference to um, football and not just stop oil, but it could be either. So Paul, enjoy yourself wherever you are. Um, who else is here? Who else is here? Um, they're all talking about snow and Jason Darcy says we never get snow well not that often I love waking up to a few inches underfoot uh, who else is in who else is in I might be missing names because there's the wizard Karen Avey I've said hello to Karen uh, Joel Hazeldean is in who's leaving who uh, so Joel welcome good evening to you um Class 55 is in. All right, my loves. Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. Uh, Coral Lee Ludlow, Class 55. Stuart Cahoon. Brammy. Brammy D1. Brammy D. That's uh, Dazza is that, Brambles. Is that our little Bramley apple? Dazza Brambles is in the YouTube bar. And I think Mrs... We've got lovely Rebecca in the uh, Facebook. Mrs. Bramley's over this side. Um, from France. Um, so welcome, uh, Mr. Brambles. We know that uh, the Christmas decks have gone up around ITV. Thank you for the card. It came uh, this morning or yesterday. Oh, thank you, lovely. Um, who else? Angela, I've said. Mr. Venus is in. Hello, Mr. Mr. Venus. Venus. Dolls. Hiya, dolls. Uh, Jane Wagner is in. Um, Jane Wagner. Summer 21 is here. Hello, Summer 21. Butterfly Ube is in. Butterf Butterfly Youb. Hello, everyone. Happy Christmas. Hello, Butterfly Youb. Have a happy Christmas. Uh, Dale Ibbotson is in. We thought you'd be doing Panto, Dale. Dale is... Um, have you not started yet? Dale's up to his comedy bloomers in pantomime rehearsals. Ugly, ugly Sister, I believe. Playing Ugly Sister, yeah. In um, Up North from us. Where is he playing it? Yarm. <coughs> Yarm, excuse me. Yarm. Still got a bit of Covid. No, Red Redka. Is it near Redka? Uh, so Dale is is panto rehearsing at the moment. So I don't know if Caroline's in or if Dale and Caroline are together. Um, Andrea Gaul is in. Andrea Gaul. Um, like, uh, uh, Asterix the Gaul. Peggy's pappering around in here. Linda LeHughes is in. My cousin Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Gary Brooks is in. Hello, Gary. Uh, David Maudsley is in. That's my mum and dad. Hello to you both. Um, I think also in is my sister-in-law Marcia. Hello, Marcia. Get well soon, Ewan, who's not joining us tonight because he's got he's got one of his heads. Oh, we'd make that worse, wouldn't we? We would too. <laughs> Was caterwauling around. Um, Andrea Gall's just been watching old blind date episodes. Blind date. Uh, Lily Law is in. Hello, Lily. Hello, Lily loves. See you at the weekend. See you three D. Um, anyone else? Anyone else? And gradually I saw some there. capicals. Seven Network is there. Capital Paul is in. Um, Lucy from First Age Comics is in. Ross Morgan is here. I'm missing? Am I missing any names out? Gary Brooks. Have we said hello to Gary? Gary I've Brooks. Said hello to Gary Brooks. Ooh, Gary Brooks. Pip. Ooh, Gary Brooks. I'm the lady of Pip. Shalom to our friend Pip, um, who is. In nibbles and bubbles are in. Hello, but lovelies. I hope both of you are there. Will, will Venus? Will, will He's your Venus. He's your fire. Your desire. Um. So Will Venus ASMR is in the house. Um. Diangela is in. Hello, to my lovely. Um. Squeen Queen is here. Felicia. Hello. From Detroit, Michigan. I think. Uh, but she's in the house as well. Minnesota, isn't it? Might be Minnesota. Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota. Right, some others, are, it's whizzed by at a, a rapid rate, so I've missed some names. Um, but I did see that we've got Seven Network in, 
Uh, and we've got... NP. Look, Josh Sadler in. NP is in. Emotional Urban Homestead there is, she is in. Um, Ross Morgan is in. And Helen is in, who is our favourite dinner lady from She's Hull. She's not a dinner lady. Um, we did do an official um, apology to Helen because she isn't a dinner lady. She's not a dinner lady. But she will always be the dinner lady of my heart. And she's in. Helen sent me um, some of Rod Hull's poetry this week on Twitter, um, which I was very pleased to receive. Um, Dale's about to pack his bags for rehearsal, so he's off tomorrow, I guess. Oh, is it behind you? Oh, no, he's not. Um, and Scream Queen, you are right. She's in very cold Minnesota. Minnesota. Um all right, my love. So that's everyone over this side about. Uh, so in the uh, Facebook snuggery, we were joined firstly by Paul Esselmont, uh, followed by the lovely Joel with William Hazeldean, who loves to uh, pop in for both rooms. Pops in and out with his mulled cider. Followed by our lovely Welsh boy, Mark Hall. Sarah Simpson. Sarah uh, Simpson's. Um, Sweet, she always asks after Peggy, doesn't she? She does always ask Peggy's after Peggy. Peggy's fine. She's down, let's see, I don't think we can see her today, but she is down there. There we are, you can see a little head. I can see her. She's doing her nails. Um, follow the lovely Mark, who's celebrating with Ricky today, because Ricky's passed his theory test. Well done, Ricky, darling. Well done, Ricky. Uh, lovely Gemma Alexander, who's just up to the other side of Aldi. To the side of Aldi, Gemma. <laughs> yep. Uh, Gemma, I loved your photo that I saw this week of, uh, of you with a scarf, a backdrop of your scarf. With her Doctor Who scarf yes. on, yeah. Very um, Doctor Who. Uh, Rebecca Bramley is in. Bonjour. Bonjour, Rebecca Bonjour, Bramley. Bonjour, Madame Bramley. Ça va? Oh, is it lovely and snuggly and wintry there? Have you got a coal fire on it? I had a little um, tour around the Bramley's um, French house. Oh, did you? Mm. Yeah. Virtual tour. It's very Well, nice. I've seen their... Um, it, um, Internal fridge freezer. I've seen the brambles. I've seen the picture of the new, <laughs> the new fridge freezer. Yeah. Um, lovely Martin Garton Spencer popped in to say hello. He said sorry to miss the other Friday, but he said it was kind of filthy. We, was it? We did a little pop up on Friday. Were we filthy? No, but because I guess it's a Friday surprise sounds a bit cheeky. And Paul with no capicals um, in the Facebook. Paul whispers in the in the Facebook snug and then booms in the um, yeah. YouTube bar. And he's got two likes to that. <coughs> uh, ribbons bobbing stuffer has popped in. So evening all. Philippe will be late. He's been he's, he's drawing knickknacks. I think he's doing life drawing. Life drawing. Ooh. I wonder if it'll be um, moose knuckles or camel toes. Ooh. Or chodes. Follow the lovely Jason Rigby. Who's also by in both bars? By by bars. Um, just me. just Mr. Sandwell tonight. Henry's filming the local panto, and Lady V on secret business. Oh. I mean, the panto's a bit early, isn't it, to be in late November? You might be to sort of promote it though. Oh yeah, maybe that one of those videos where like Leslie Joseph. Hasn't Lord Henry just won a? Ballroom dance competition. I think, I think she has. She's got things in lots of pies. Doctor hasn't she? He, Doctor Henry Medicine Woman is an she accomplished ballroom dancer. Our oh, lovely, lovely chum from Great Field in Hull, Ian Tushy Rushy Wath Rush Wathworth, Tom Cruise, uh, Carol Brooks. I think giving us a couple of waves there. And Robert Brown looks like he's in bed. Bobby Brune from Glasgow. Glasgow. Ah, there's our other Welsh boy, Alex Clark. Um, Clark. It's always getting doubles tonight. Oh, they've got two days off. Two days off. Cheeky. They're, they're doubling the gins. I bet they're going Christmas shopping. Uh, lovely Jason Brett. James and uh, Jason. James and Jason in, in Worthing. Gabrielle Chassé. We had your lovely card pop through our flat this morning. Where does Ga where, where's Gabby Hale from? Uh, Maine. From State of Maine. Uh, Lynn Jackson. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. I think we've seen you on Friday, too. Uh... Ah, Nibbles has popped into the room. Alex Clark would like to um, set us a little challenge, get public opinion. If I could, if I had a poll at my fingertips, I'd pop one up. Which is better, surprise, surprise, or life is full, full of surprises? What does surprise, surprise go like? Surprise, 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 surprise. surprise, surprise unexpected hits you between does, the eyes. Doesn't it have a, have a, have a sort, of, sort of slow beginning? 
The more the world is changing, the more it stays the same. Like a never ending something and something else, and then we have Bob Carroll G's. And also Gordon Burns. <laughs> Gordon Burns does a boring bit with a phone number or two. Surprise, surprise. And then, of course, you have reaching out, holding hands, reliving memories. Life is full, full. I like life is full, full of surprises. Tura then, Tura. But it's because me and my friend Rachel used to do a little routine to it, a little dance routine. Does she, do little, does she cock a knee as well, doesn't she? <laughs> she does a little. She does that in the blind date. Do, 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 do. Done. Yeah. Bit like Shirley Ballas often pops in at, in Strictly, stolen from Scylla. Uh, Nibbles would also like to tell everybody he's a bit late because he went for a little whittle. Which is your favourite? The original Surprise Surprise or Life is Full Full of Surprises? I think the first one. The more the world is changing, the more Garden Burns stays the same. Uh, <laughs> I'm a dick, aren't I? Oh. Um, a lovely Beth and Williams. She says, sorry, you're not late. Good eh, Beth and my love. You're not late, darling. Uh, lovely Darren Riley. Darren Riley says you're brilliant as Davros off of Doctor Who. Oh, do you know that was two, two or three years ago? That three wasn't years it? ago, yeah. In um, in the first lockdown in Locky D, <laughs> when we had we had no vintage, we had no um, shops open. We we found so, some cardboard, didn't we? Outside yeah, outside, um, outside a um, hardware shop. Yeah, and uh, luck- luckily, um, we had the we had the little pots from lids, didn't we, and canisters to make little buttons. And lots of kitchen utensils. Um, there's a there's it's mixed. Uh, Helen dinner lady Helen's going for life is full. Alex is going for life is full. Summer twenty one's going for the original classic. Alan's going for the classic. Ross Morgan's life is full. Um, Nibbles and Bubbles simply thought it was all the same song. Scylla mega mix. <laughs> well, Chris is saying, what about what's about Alfie? What's it all about? What about the one which goes, Alfie? Hey, you are a lucky kid. Or a mucky you kid. You are a mucky kid. Dirty as a dustbin lid. You'll get a bell from your dad. Um, Scylla's is, still is filling everyone in, though. <laughs> mm. um, what about what about the one where um, the moment of truth? Did Scylla have a song for that? I can't remember that. I'm not sure there was a song. Scylla, did you sing any other theme tunes? Let us know. I know that was mixed, that wasn't it? Because sometimes you make dreams come true and sometimes you trust them dreams. Um, and Scylla, is Life is Full Full of Surprises written by uh, the Robins, a.k.a. Kate Robbins and maybe her sisters? And he wouldn't surprise me if most probably um, Ted Robbins did the warm-up. T- Ted Robbins, would all, the Robbins were always sniffing around the cavern and Scylla because um, the Robbins are Paul McCartney's cousins. I called Taylor up to say that he loved, especially for you. Um, oh, thank you, Cole. That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, that was um, some guerrilla filming because we went out onto Scarborough Station and did some filming. Um, I think it was Pip, Pip Shalom. You hurt your leg? No, I was rubbing it. Uh, I think it was Pip Shalom that said, um, after seeing the video, said that the, the bench in Scarborough Railway Station is the longest in the, in the world. <laughs> was that Pip? Yeah. It is Pip. Scarborough's full of the seven full wonders of surprises. Of the world, full of surprises. <laughs> Um, Scylla would like us to know that the song Life is Full Full of Surprises was written by Kate Robbins, mm. um, also known as Crossroads Kate Robbins. Mm. Right, loves, we have to talk. What do we have to talk about today? So, what in our. Oh, well, Friday, wow. ooh, a couple of days, we're doing another quiz. quiz. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, can you guess who it is? Can you guess who it is? You're not going to see it. So, we're looking forward to that. Um, it's obviously. it's Filthy, fun, and festive, as it's the first of December on that day. So we'll be, it'll be Christmas themed a little bit. We'll be. I'll be wearing. I will be wearing a, a very nice Christmassy frock. So we'll, we'll must we see a few of you there. Yeah, we've got uh, lots of lots of little guests popping up. Which we sold nice. out, aren't we? We sold out. We've actually squeezed another two in. Um, what else have we got coming up? We've got anything? Oh, we've had. I was on my hands and knees today, wasn't I? Mm. Trying to fix our tumble dryer. I think the uh, washing machines had a word <coughs> and said, "I'm brand new. How long have How long have you been here?" And then suddenly, honestly, the tumble dryer was screaming at us, like it was making screaming noises. <laughs> Wasn't it? Yeah. So we don't know what's going on with it. We think it's either the pump or something called the uh, what's it called? The thing at the back. I don't know. I think it's the pump. I, I fiddled with it. I've cleaned it out a bit. 
and the pipes at the back that go to the condenser when i've wiggled them around they've um it stopped stopped screaming when you wiggle pipes around they normally sort i think stuff out. we might have to get a man out yeah um we've been we've been having some fun filming today yes we? yes and uh our lovely friends, Martin and Stephen, popped by, not to see us, but to drop a little gift on the doorstep. <laughs> and we went to the door as... Um... <laughs> Mr and Mrs Pye. Yeah. I saw Martin at the door. I said, Martin's here. So we went out as Mr and Mrs Pye and we were Always, shouting in the street. Every time, they, every time they popped by, we were doing filming, aren't we? Mr Pye's not very shouty, but Mrs Pye was shouting out on the street, wasn't yeah. she? What are you doing? Can you see it? <laughs> Can you see us? Um, Did Scylla possess your dryer, says Tracy30. I don't think so. Scylla's so busy now with her Twitter, Twitterati. I don't think Scylla goes anywhere near a dryer, do you? Angela Larson says, how about an online Christmas pub quiz? Yeah, we will, We most probably will do something between, again, Twixmas. Betwixt. So between Christmas and New Year, we'll yeah. try and um, get a date in the diary for a quiz. Um, I wanted to do a, like a Christmas watch along with a movie, but I can't work out how to get it working. Oh, it has to be a good movie. You have to set up. Well, it'd be funny if it was a bad movie. There's a movie out called A Christmas Karen that I really want to see. I want to see it as well. It's funny. <laughs> it's like Scrooge, but it's um, instead of Ebenezer Scrooge, it's a Karen. So, I would will, like will to we watch. watch um... Ebby Scrooge this year with the fantastic Susan Lucci. I've never watched Ebby Scrooge. We can't find it anywhere. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite version of Scrooge? I know you're all going to say Muppet Christmas Carol. Mm. What's your favourite? Uh, is... Mine's the Albert Finney 1970 musical Scrooge. What about the one with Kelsey Grammer? <laughs> no. What about what else is there? I like the um, I like the one with. Um, uh, ooh, Actually, there's a version. We shouldn't be talking. There's a version in my um, list coming there's up. There's a version in my list. <laughs> um, the, one, the one that didn't really rock my boat was with Guy Pearce's one. When that was on BBC. Oh yeah, it was a bit. It was a bit modern, wasn't it? Modern. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, it wasn't modern, but it was. It was trendy. Scrooge with Bill Murray. That's Scrooged what. Scrooge with Bill Murray. Tushy Rushworth, I don't think, has ever been to one of our online quizzes. No. We did we've, we've quite not, regularly. We've not we've not done done for a while, ages. We? we promise them, but we don't do them. But we will. Right, Lucy. We'll do one over Christmas. A.K.A. Linda LeHughes is going to see the Muppet Christmas Carol with a live orchestra on Monday. Oh, that would be amazing. Be fun, wouldn't it? Uh, Chris Perinder, Scrooge starring Alistair Sims is best. Yeah. Uh, the one with Bill Murray, says Angela Larson. Patrick Stewart, says First Age Comics. Alistair Sim version, says Lee Ludlow. SDM's just arrived. Um, I Sorry I'm late. I've only, only I swallowed the upholstery attachment off an Electrolux 567 while hoovering a helmet with my mouth open. Oh, goodness, SDM. Uh, Will Venus, I, I'd really like to watch A Christmas Carol... Starring Saran oh, Jones. Oh, I'd like to watch that. But it was on Sky. We don't have it. Yeah, our mates in it. Yeah, our mate I think is like one of her family. Yeah, in it, Jamie, who was in Corrie. Yeah, um, two of them says Squeam Queen. The 1971 animated version with Alistair Sim and an American Christmas Carol by Henry Winkler. Henry oh. Winkler, the font. Yeah, I remember that one. Uh, Albert Finney. Lots of love for Albert Finney. Scrooge the Musical. Oh, who's that man with the teeth that's always popping up in Scrooge the Musical live? Scrooge the Musical live? Yeah, when it's on, when it tours. Oh, you mean um, one with the teeth? Alpha Sixpence man. Yeah, looks a bit like oh, the so looks man. a bit like the fellow who haunts Carol Ann. He looks a bit like Jack from um, On the Bosses. Yeah, and a bit like the one who oh, haunts Carol Ann and Poltergeist Two. Oh, what's his name? You know who I mean. What's his name? He only does his Christmas shows every year now. What's his name? <laughs> Someone uh, will let us know. Sixpence, some Sixpence. Um. Uh, someone's going to let us know. Tommy, Tommy Steele. Steele. That's the man. Tommy Steele. Catherine Tate's nan. She did a, a um, Christmas carol. She did. Yep, she did. Um, lots of people. Oh, there's another conversation happening. So, Nibbles and Bubbles have said they've got Sky, so we can come round to ours and watch 
um, Saran Jones Christmas Carol. Um, but Chris doesn't like Saran Jones. But that's all right. Chris can be like our our barrister for the night. Chris can be our cocktail waiter and also do our nibbles. Well, yeah. Live up to his name. Blackadder's Christmas Carol is also awesome, says Chris. I don't remember a Blackadder Christmas Carol. What Blackadder is it? I guess, is it? No, all of them. Which Blackadder is it? Like a Dickensian Blackadder. I weren't too keen on the um, uh, animated one recently that came out. I say recently, about 10 years ago with what's his face? G- Jiminy Carey. Mm. No, it was like we went to see it in 3D glasses. Yeah, didn't we weren't we? impressed, were we? Never, never works. Um. Right, darlings, Jason Darcy is saying there's 71 of you watching right now, but only 19 of you have clicked that little thumb. So click that little thumb to say you like it. Even if you don't like it, click it. Because it does good things for our algorithm. It, it does. gives us a nice little feeling in our tummies. It's like a little boost. Um, you know those little pea shoots that you can grow on a flannel? Just a little boost. Emotional Urban Homestead's reading a Christmas Carol right now for home English, for uh, home ed. English literature. Oh, Dickens. Dickens is a bit... It's a bit tiresome, Caroline. I had to do Dickens for A-level. Mm. I like Dickens. Yeah. And I love Dickens stories because they're like so inter- intermingly. But well, I, well, I, I don't I, half... He doesn't half use a lot of words when he could use four. The Christmas Carol's my favourite Dickens, though, really. Because that Christmas... <laughs> So, how middle? How can you imagine us being in a little in a bar? The Christmas Carol is my favourite of the Dickens. Yeah. Um, um, there was some here that am you. Let's have a Jason Rigby. They did a, a number of watch alongs for Wurzel Gummidge in lockdown. Everyone knew the name of the episode they would be watching on their own TVs and use the YouTube page to comment at the same time. What well, old Wurzels? Um, Mark Hall says the older I get, the more I sympathise with Scrooge. Yeah, we do too. Um, Dean Tushy Rushworth, a Dickensian version, but done in reverse with Blackadder starting out nice and turning into an arse at the end. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's funny, isn't it? Um, Dale Ibbotson also says it's Ebenezer Blackadder with Robbie Coltrane as the ghost of Christmas, showing him some of his ancestors, etc. Um, Caroline says, Christmas Carol, it's funny and short. That's what we like. And um, Paul McFarlane's just um, caught me by saying that I, I said that I love Dickens. Um, just Jane. Just Jane doesn't comment much, but it's popped in with, she likes Ross Kemp's version of Scrooge. Oh, yeah. Was, I don't remember that. I remember that. But that was really modern, I think. I think it might have been in a car. <laughs> with no gangs. <coughs> right, it's about half past. So we're going to have an ad break, because I've got some little coughing. Um, on the note of Chris Perinder's just told us that it, when we watch Saran Jones Christmas Carol, it'll be a butler in the buff. Do we want? We don't want. We don't want his knickknacks in our knickknacks. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, cheesy puffs, anyone? We'll see you after the ad break. Wow! Talk about sheer terror. Well, what did you think so far? Listen, this side is about to come to an end, but I want you to be sure and flip over to the other side where the best of Hollywood beckons. Um, I'm going to freshen up a little bit, so I'll see you on the other side. Honey, why don't we get some more wine, uh, more hors d'oeuvres, more everything. Okay. Okay. The Empire Theatre presents Cinderella, starring Windsor Davis and Melvin Hayes. Tickets from Rushworth, Whitechapel, Liverpool. Phone 051-709-6699. Christmas for me. The Roy Hall Christmas Spectacular is now on. Knockout prices on the North's most comprehensive Christmas stocks at Roy Hall Cash and Carry, Ashton Old Road, Manchester. Open seven days, trade only. It's Christmas at Stratford Arndale Centre. Bring the family for all your Christmas shopping. There's free parking for a thousand cars. Stratford Arndale Centre, the easy way to shop. So much to choose and every boot you won't believe your eyes. 
Shopping can be lots of fun, you're certain to succeed. You'll hear everybody saying, Oh, just what I need. Be a hit this Christmas and find the gift that suits. The special touch of Christmas with the special touch. The special touch of boots. Ooh. I like to teach the world to sing. it on, shake it on, spray it on. Denim makes Christmas go with a bang. Denim for the man who doesn't have to try too hard. Come on, time to open the presents. I know which one I'm going to open first. <laughs> I'd never have guessed. Let's get the others. Harvey's Bristol Cream. The best sherry in the world. Christmas! That's what it's all about. Price. That's what it's all about. Value is what it's all about. And international. Cheers. That's what it's all about. Beers. That's what it's all about. Hi, I'm back. And so are you. You know, I feel as though I know you. Well, at least we share some of the same tastes. Oh, I'm sorry about the cheese puffs. I ran out. But I still have quiche. She freshened up, didn't she? She changed the blouse. Always quiche. We um we think the kids would be dead annoyed because suddenly like there's yeah. cheese puffs yeah, in the, the lounge and they've got to go to bed. The watch the watching telly, she says get to bed. They can smell cheese puffs in the air. She's come upstairs to freshen up and told him to shut up. Oh. And there's quiche going. Well, we hope you enjoyed that little Christmas ad break. God, those drinks were cheap, weren't they? Four cans for one. One fifteen. Um, well, we'll be trying to do some more little Christmassy ones as we get closer to the big day. Um, but tonight we thought we would um, design our like ideal Christmas um Christmas night. So, let me just close that down because it's shiny on my face. Um, so we're gonna we haven't got uh, we can play this, but it's not re it's not relevant. That's for my mum. It was my mum's birthday a week ago today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to my lovely mum. And she had lots of messages from uh, for last week from some giggle boxes, didn't she? She did. She did, um, which she was very grateful for. And I shared some nice photos of her um, on on uh, Facebook. Yeah, but it was my mum's birthday. So happy birthday for to Jamie's mum, who's lovely. Um, right, Christmas. So you got to, We're planning our ideal Christmas telly night. Do you actually end up having a, a perfect Christmas telly night? Though? Do you reckon it's Christmas night? Well, I think. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and Boxing Day should be <laughs> nights when you just. So it could be either of them three nights. Yeah. Christmas, Christmas Eve night. You're not going to watch telly, are you? Because you're going to have a no, few drinks. You might do though. Mm, I think it's Christmas Day or Boxing Day night. That's what I'm going for in my head. Mm. I've, I mean, throughout the years, I've spoken to people I've worked with and friends who have been um, not bullied. 
but forced to go to spend time with family over Christmas. <laughs> or um, and one friend, I, I won't say her name, but she went to her sister-in-law's or brother-in-law's, uh, her, her, the parents of the brother-in-law, and she said every single programme that they watched was something she hated. <laughs> She said it was a long, <laughs> long night and she just wanted to be at home. So the following year, she put her foot down and said, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be by myself. And she did. And had a wonderful time. We've been to people's houses at Christmas and um, like they've been ill or... Um, yeah, well, I can't... Or they that. put stuff on that's not really our, <laughs> you know. Cause they might be watching because I'm slating them. But I think it's a natural thing. I think... <coughs> not everybody's perfect Christmas night is your perfect Christmas night is it no so we tend to hunker down don't we yes. at Christmas I'm always travelling so much that the thought of then travelling away at Christmas just does my nutting so we love just being at Christmas oh, at home don't we I like to be in my pyjamas so location wise so first question is where is your ideal location for Christmas telly mm. So for me, my ideal location is... Do you want to go first or shall I go first? You go first, I'll... Right, mine is like, somewhere like... You know where... You know, <laughs> you know where Cameron Diaz ends up in the holiday? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, like an old like, like village. A, yeah, and that little... She has to walk um, quite a long way to find the little walk. cottage. So it's in a little, <clears throat> So it's a little cottage... Like in the middle of nowhere, probably like hired. So we've not got any worries about it. <laughs> we've got enough food. We've had food delivered. I think on, we've got, we've arrived on Christmas Eve and had a food delivery. We booked in advance. Um, it's a nice, snuggly cottage. Not got real neighbours anywhere close, but it's not like scary on its own. Um, and it's got a log fire. It's in, the log fire is important. But it's got a log fire. Nice big telly. Maybe a few little furry blankets that we can wrap up in. But that's where I want to be. You, home. Here? Yeah, home. Near, ah. me, near my fridge. <laughs> near my bed. Near my, near my toilet. You don't want to be with, with the Cameron Diaz's little cottage? No, because most probably it's going to be snowed in. <laughs> the delivery will be delayed or not turn up till after Christmas. Um... I want to go out for a walk, but there'll be nowhere to go. There'll be no pubs. <clears throat> Gareth from Porto says he love, love, love the holiday, the movie. Um, Linda LaHue says she'd be on her sofa, log burner on, dogs either side of her, heaven. Um, yeah, I agree with the log burner. Ross Morgan, I tend to stay at home for Christmas. I used to go to my mum's, but I always wanted to stay at home. Emotional Urban Homestead, uh, Caroline says his front room. Um, Archie Diggins Archie Diggins Oh Archie Diggins Archie Diggins says Who can afford to go away for Christmas I know Ian Tushy Rushworth says Kylie Minogue's bedroom Oh <laughs> I don't know why you're there Kylie will be in Las Vegas I guess it's a nice bedroom But he might mean He might mean it, the, the Kylie's well, bedroom we in know Las Vegas what, We know what Tushy means Dirty bastard <laughs> Right uh, Beth and William says I don't care As long as the Wizard of Oz is on I'm happy. Someone over here mentioned Wizard of Oz as well, which in my head is not a Christmas movie. But it's always on at Christmas, isn't it? As is the Santa music, although the Santa music's normally after, like... Darren Small says, yeah, Christmas Day, me and my sister watch The Wizard of Oz. We've done this for the last 30 years. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Here, Kate Johnston says, last Christmas we got COVID, so we a couldn't lot, go anywhere. A lot of people did have the cold, didn't they? But luckily, we had all the food and drinks already in. We don't believe you, Kate Johnston. We think you just told all the family that you had COVID, so they stayed well clear, and you could have a nice shut door Christmas. Imagine when I when I had COVID, I, I couldn't face food and drink, could you? No, that's why I think Kate Johnston's telling fibs. <laughs> and you just outed her. Uh, Cole Taylor says, totally with Alan. Just want to be at home. Kate Johnson says. Says in the cottage, it would probably my cottage. I think it would probably be too far away from everything to get any deliveries. Kate Johnson, not when you're a honeyborn. We have people that can deliver anywhere. Um, Chris Perinda, I want to. Oh, this is a nice one. I want to spend Christmas in Kevin McAllister's house. Why? Massive house. It's going to be invaded by burglars. <laughs> I think, but not on, that's Christmas Eve. Oh, so that's all out the way, isn't it, Chris? And maybe it's been tidied up from all those horrible traps. There's paint on the staircase. 
There's broken baubles. Oh, I don't oh know. maybe Chris. I think Chris. I'm sticking up for you here, but maybe Chris is is going to spend his his time his Christmas day at Kevin McAllister's house in Home Alone Two. Mm. So the house is all done. Okay. They've gone. Kevin's mm. gone. House is perfect. Um, let's have a look at any other um, coming through. Seven Network. Um, we make a point of only having the two of us here with our dog on Christmas Day. Open house any other time. Um, what TV we watch usually isn't anything live on the day. Archie Diggins says, just on the sofa. Um, Josh Sadler, it's the only time of year when I purchase a paper TV guide and I crack open the highlighters and mark up everything I want to watch on linear television. <laughs> and I use my streaming channels for all the gaps. I remember as a as a kid getting the uh, Radio Times and the TV Times. Yeah, Radio, Times, Radio Times is £4.50. Oh, I know. And you knew Christmas had arrived when you got your ready time. Like, wow, I can, I can finally know what's on in two weeks' time. I used to always love leafing through Radio Two to see what musicals were on. Uh, <laughs> Gareth says, "Home in the family house, in the good room." Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lee Ludlow, my ideal is to go to sleep for two weeks and wake up when it's all over and start oh, on January the third. Surely Bloody not, Ludlow. Um, uh, First Age Comics agrees with Josh Sadler. Uh, Nibbles and Bubbles, Lucy. Uh, Lynn, uh, Shari agrees with Lucy, saying, Log burner, two dogs. Uh, Neil Sandwell, we sit in the front room at Christmas. You don't do anything, just sit in it. The Sandwells, I think, have got their Christmas tree up. They've got two, haven't they? Well, they've got many a tree. Um, Andrew Chapman's on shift, Christmas Day, Boxing Day. Oh, dolls. Um, oh, it's all whizzing by... Um, Emotional Urban Home says says Sound of Music's a Boxing Day film. Nibbles and Bubbles, I love watching Singing in the Rain during the Christmas New Year period. Darren Small, Mary Poppins. Mm. Don't talk about what films, that's coming later. Um, Angela Larson at home, cuddled up with the hubby. Pip, we're the same. We mark out the days at home for just the two of us. We walk in the village and out on the hills. Come back to him doing a big dinner and then cuddling up with classic Top of the Pops episodes. Um, Gary Brooks is talking about a game show marathon, which I don't know what's, what that's about, but that's there's a conversation happening. Um, Alex Johnson, mine would be in a nice hot bath watching telly on my phone, maybe a drink on the side, staying at my mum's at the moment and she hasn't got a bath. Oh, oh. We've got a massive bath, Alex Johnson, haven't we? Don't rub it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just got it recently. We had a big bath fitted a few months ago. Uh, Beth and Williams, I'm with you, Alan. At home in bed, in bed all day watching TV with a bit of comfort food, plenty of sparkling wine. See, the good thing about having your gym jams on and all your little, because elasticated waist, which Mark, means as you fill up. <laughs> Mark Mondeum and same as Jamie, lovely cottage in the middle of nowhere, log burners, absolutely essential to me, and a massive comfy sofa. Gem Alexander, home is where the hound is. As long as I've got her Aww. with me, I'm happy. Yeah, we feel a bit like that. Mark Hall just chimes in like Ebenezer Scrooge herself. He's quite proud of this, I know he is. I've never seen The Holiday. I've never seen The Holiday. And he must be don't want to. And I, I, He never will. He'll never watch it. Winslet well, Diaz. Paul wants to be with me and you. <laughs> Do you? Sonia D. Hello, Sonia. Look at me, I'm Sonia D. She says, when I live with my friend Kevin, he would only let me watch the sound of the music if I didn't sing along. If I started to sing at any point he would turn the TV over. It's impossible to sing, isn't it? Impossible. That's cruel. I'm expect Kevin can't be a homosexual. Kevin, surely. we Kevin, we will have words if we should meet. Um, hang on a minute. I got Ian Tushy. That's too long for me to read it. Uh, Chris Brinder says, "Yeah, after the burglars have gone, Gabby Chassie, my dream Christmas and birthday the day after would be in that there London." With I want to read what Tushy Bob. said because when people write paragraphs. Uh, Helen, I love being at home and watching Neighbours. Yes, folks, it's on Christmas Day. Darren Small, me, my cat, Xmas throws, Quality Street, Matchmakers and Twiglets. Yes. Um, Ian just questioning why the Wicked Witch of the West has a bucket of water nearby when it's so dangerous for her. <laughs> well, she's got all those monkeys. They must need to drink. And um, he said um, something about washing. Did she wash? Was she actually green or was it just mould? She was green because she was wicked. Alphaba. Oh, you watch, yeah, watch Wicked. It explains it all. The water's not true when you watch that. Oh, spoilers. 
Uh, Ross Morgan, when my grandfather was alive, he expected the family to be down his house first thing in the morning to open presents together. That's what I call a proper family traditional tradition. Um, Caroline says, this year we are going to our son and daughter-in-laws with all our children. I can't believe the dinner is being made for me. Oh, is that the first time it's happened? Pip says, yes, Alan, loose trousers, T-shirt and a large wrap to hide Although I must say this year, belly. this year for our Christmas, we're, we're going to friends, aren't we? Yeah. And we are looking forward to it. I know we're saying we want to be in gym jams, but we know it's going to be special. Yeah, it'll be lovely. We're going to Martin and Stevens. I so, can't um, wait. Yeah. Although I'm, I'm telling everyone that I'm going to um, brine a celeriac. Oh, you can eat it your bloody self. Cook it and then slice it like ham. No, keep that. Uh, so that'll be my vegan, that'll be my vegan roast. Yeah. So that leads us very wisely on to what is your snack of choice? So we've got where you're watching this night of telly. What is your snack of choice? Ooh, so... My snack of choice is my like TV food, Christmas Day night. Leftover sarnies. Yeah, leftover sandwich. Or wraps. Or a wrap. I do like a wrap. But I love it, nothing better. So Alan does love uh, creamed corn at Christmas and bread sauce. So I like those two as my sort of... They're on, on the... Each le- level the, of bread. They're the, they're the mo- wetness. Moistness. <laughs> then the little roast vegetables. You're not keen on cranberry sauce, are you? No, 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 Mikey. Uh, then my potatoes. Little potatoes, maybe squashed up a bit. Bit of stuffing. And my fake meat. My sliced sliced fake meat. Whack on the top or wrap it up. Slice it. Bring it in. Heaven. So every year we always make extra, don't we, for your... Um... Yeah, for my leftover sandwiches. In yeah. fact, I think I prefer my leftover sandwiches to Christmas meal. Mm. Bit of red cabbage might go in there. Sprouts. <laughs> but yeah, that's mine. Um, let's have a look at anyone that's coming in before we move on to Alan's. Um, Just Jane says she loves watching my £600 life while stuffing my face with chocolate and crisps. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dr. knows her origin. <laughs> Seven Networks says cheese and pineapple sticks. Scylla, of course, says Oxo and Orange. Um, Which she found in a stocking. Uh, A Street 26, leftover turkey sandwich with bread sauce. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Miniature Heroes, it says Tracy 30. She gets them on Amazon because you can't get them over in the oh. States. Um, S- SDM, Stephen, says, I go to my friend's house. Like us, they're childless and have dogs instead. They're heterosexual, but they don't flaunt it in front of us. So we just live and let live. No, <laughs> no, like the, no kids. I like the cut of SDM's jib. I'd like to know more about you, Stephen. Uh, Cold Tennis is like to fry up the leftovers. Like bub- bubble and squeak. Bubble and squeak. Uh, Gemma, from the other side of Aldi, says, Plum pudding made by my lovely sister. What's a oh, plum pudding? Christmas pudding. Oh, okay. Cheese and crackers, says Chris. We uh, do you know what? I've always wanted a grazing board, haven't I? You did. He told me last year. He said, "Yeah, get all the grazing board stuff in," and I was like, "Okay." So it was cheese, apples, grapes. Thing, blah, blah, blah. Not so once did he ask for a grazing board. Yeah, but you shouldn't ask for a grazing board. A grazing board should just appear. Well, and then just lie there because you're not you don't feel like eating it because you've had too many of them like sandwiches. It. Um, Emotional Eleven Host said mini roast on the evening um, everything like the dinner but just a tiny version turkey curry says Ross Morgan roast ham sambo with a slither of mustard says Karen mm. leftover sandwich Trace 30 yeah. olives and nuts says Jason Darcy yeah. I think that's he's just declaiming uh, what's olives nuts part baked rolls with home cooked honey roast gammon cold pigs in blankets turkey and stuffing crusty bread sandwiches turkey calzone says Paul McFarlane. SEM Boxing Day. My nan always did a trifle with huge tin strawberries, the colour of a bruise, and it was to die for. Um, Lee Ludlow. My ex used to eat cold sprouts, and not just one or two either. Um, Neil Sandwell. I'm only allowed Pringles at Christmas because of the diet. Oh, Neil. Well, lady Neil. knees out. <laughs> Neil. It's only three days. You should be allowed Pringles any time of the year. You need to start. You can burn it off. Yeah. Uh, Angela Larson, we like nosh foods. Oh, I bet you do, Angela Larson. Roasted mixed nuts, cheeses, charcuterie, dried fruits. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and Archie Diggins, big biscuits and cheese, fizz, Pringles, oat cakes, pate, dates, basically everything. 
Coral, homemade Christmas cake and a piece of cheese. Oh, that's very northern of you, Coral. Christmas yeah, cake and yeah, cheese. Yeah, it, it does work. It's lovely. Um, I like people who do the Christmas cake. But I don't do the icing or marzipan. It doesn't agree with me. Bethan, turkey slices, boiled ham slices, stuffing, cheese, pickles, prawn cocktail crisps, salad cream on the side, mm. Mark Mondayman, sausage rolls, good pork pie, salted peanuts, little twisty cheesy things, mince pies, good heavy fruit cake. Mm. Martin... Hyde has popped in saying, well, you can have balls on Christmas Day. We what love balls? your balls, Martin, don't what we? What balls? I always have balls when I get to eat me. Turkey balls? They do nice. They do um, the gardener's balls. Uh, Gemma oh, I'll said... Tell what, I'll tell you what, Martin, I love your sprouts. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm not... I wasn't a fan of sprouts, but last time I had your sprouts, they were lovely, weren't they? We did like your sprouts. Gemma says, uh, plum pudding, fruitcake loaf that can be served sweet or savoury. It's a family recipe. Mm. Um, let's have a look. So, Alan's uh, food for the evening is... Get it all out. <laughs> not just one sandwich. Just open every box you've got in. Get it out. Running buffet. Yeah, but running towards me. <laughs> now that obviously is a meat eater's buffet because I couldn't find a vegetarian one. But I th- I like things like um, uh, cheese crackers, all that you've mentioned. Little pick, little pickled onion. Oh, I love a pickled onion. Little pickled onion. Oh, a jar of pickled onion to me was always very Christmas. Little sausage on sticks, veggie sausage, of course. Um, yeah, when you say Pringles and all that, yeah. Uh, Stephen SDM says grazing boards are gross there will come a time when we have our food spread over the table because we can't help it we don't need to do that now I tell you what some of these companies who do catering have like, offered online buy a grazing box and it is literally rip yeah, off just stuff it? stuffed in there yeah because half it's a chopped up apple I remember Nigella started the whole grazing board thing didn't she mm. um, but yeah the mixture of everything sweet savoury and um Oh, yeah, plenty of snacks, crunchy snacks. Martin's uh, saying about balls. He means because we're being all fancy. Are we? We're all fancy with my turkey sa- with my leftover sandwich. Um, uh, John Lewis, uh, Pip says, John Lewis let you make your own quality street tin and you just fill them up with the creams. Oh, Pip, we should, because we, I don't like the creams. We'd be a little good match. We talked about this, didn't we? About yeah, what we, we did. What we, what we would eat and... Uh, you like the toffees, don't you? Love the toffees. And I go don't. gold. So we've got our food. We've got where we are. So the first thing is a kids TV program to start the day off. Yeah. So what kids TV show are you going to watch that's Christmassy? Mine. So this is the, Christ- oh, the, toy the Christmas box. toy. Yeah, the Christmas toy by Jim Henson. Um, I love it. I've it's it's like Toy Story, but years and years before Pixar did Toy Story, it's pretty much the same story. Yeah, it's about a little um, toy, a little toy tiger that um, is the favourite Christmas present. And then, really gets, but then gets a... replaced by a sort of um, spacey princess character. And um, there's a little mouse, little mouse, which is a cat toy. They all come to life, obviously, when they're not being seen. Um, but it's Ace, the Christmas toy by Jim Henson. I, oh, you showed, I think you showed me that one year, didn't you? It's yeah, sweet, it is. Yeah. It's really sweet. It's well worth watching if you can find it. Um, Raccoons at Christmas, says Jason Darcy. Gareth says Chucky does Christmas. What's Raccoons at Christmas? I love raccoons. Do you remember? No, the raccoons. It was a cartoon. With oh, is Cyril it? Sneer and stuff. Oh, you know. I think it meant like raccoon because like, I love the little advert. Bethan, I used to enjoy the Gruffalo with my nieces, but really it was for me, lol. Uh, Claire B80 says, I love the Christmas toy. Um, Stuart Cahoon says, I did my first ham shank in the slow cooker the other day. Dirty cow. <laughs> Dirty bastard. Dirty bastard. <laughs> Lee Ludlow says, when I was really little, I used to watch Frosty the Snowman. And Gareth says, Muppet go- Muppets go to New York. <laughs> That's not Christmassy, is it? Charlie Brown Christmas, Darren Small, love it. It didn't have to be Christmassy, though, does it? Well, it's a... It's, it's, it's sound it's of music isn't Christmassy. Um, Alan, we go over to Alan. <laughs> being the twisted... Being the twisted person that I am... 
I actually watched this the other day when you were away. What, in November? Yeah. With Bowie? Yeah. But it, it was the one that was narrated. Um, oh, who was it narrated by? Uh, Cribbins, Bernard Cribbins. And then, being the Twitter person, I thought, oh, um, they, they also did the um, When the Wind Blows, didn't they? Oh. So I watched that. <laughs> Um, Stephen uh, says Charlie Brown's Christmas Muppets Christmas Carol says Richard Ribbonsboff in Duffer mm. Cole Taylor vaguely remember a gingerbread film cartoon always on Christmas morning mm. um, I remember Noel Edmonds being around a lot oh she was, was always up the when I was growing up always up the BT Tower wasn't she yeah um, SDM, it's not a kids show, but one we watched as kids was the Terry and June Christmas special where they get sewn into a pantomime cow costume and end up on the back of a lorry 20 miles from home. <laughs> um, Mark Mum Dayman says, Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without the snowman. I remember one year there was a live version instead of the original, it wasn't the no, same. No, you have to watch that. It's only short, it's only about 20 minutes long. There's a weird bit, isn't there, where there's like cultural appropriation. <laughs> What do you mean? Don't they go and see like snowmen from around the world? Yeah. But they're all a little bit like oh, stereotyped. Yeah, but it's sweet. I used Santa, to work at... And Santa's there. I used to work at the Peacock Theatre and we had uh, snowmen on every year, the ballet. Um, it annoyed me. He got a tangerine for a nose. Uh, Chris Perinda uh, watched the Father Christmas animation with Mel Smith. Mm. Um... Ross Morgan said I sounded just like Alan Jones then, Jamie. She goes, still got it. <laughs> I think Bubbles has gone to bed. I'm oh. heading off now, guys. It's been a busy day. Oh, Good night. no, no, darlings. Good night, love. Um, was it was it was it Stuart Cahoon with his ham shanks? Yeah, and he's put slow cook. <laughs> <laughs> We've got so much more to talk about. Um, right, so Christmas. Kids so that's films. the kids thing done, but that's to warm you up a bit. Right, next one was um, like a light entertainment programme. <coughs> oh, of course, yeah. Christmas yeah. Day, Top of the Pops. Loved it. Um, I think it was always on like just after the Queen's Speech or just before the Queen's Speech. Just before, I think. Mm. That's kind of the era. Was that the Queen's watching. Speech on every channel back then? Was it on ITV, BBC? I think it was just on the Beeb. Just the Beeb. I'm not sure. But. Um, Christmas Day, Top of the Pops, loved it because it was like the greatest hits of the year, wasn't it? Popping yeah. up, like Yaz and the Plastic Population would pop up, a uh, bit of Kylie, bit of Jason, and then you get your Christmas number one at yeah, the you end. Would. Yep. So that was my favourite light entertainment. Was that on Christmas Day? It was Christmas Day. Always Christmas Day. Um, I think Jason and James uh, were talking about um, Christmas Day, Top of the Pops as well, kind of like racing dinner to watch it. Um, Scylla mm. says if you need a light entertainment programme just give Scylla a call well Scylla was on every Christmas one not she Stuart Coon says we used to watch Noel's Christmas Presents Christmas Day Christmas Top of the Pops must watch says Lee Ludlow Mork and Wise Christmas Show says Andrew Chapman uh, Top of the Pops usually 2pm then the Queen on BBC One and ITV at 3 mm. with a later repeat on BBC Two with subtitles Seven Network knows her stuff. She knows her. She knows what she's talking Christopher about. Christopher Brinder's off as well. Good night, love. They're Thanks. both off to bed, are they? Ooh. Ooh. We'll see you on uh, Friday, lovelies. Nibbles and Bubbles. Um, nice. Thanks for coming. You're gonna miss. You're gonna miss movies and things. They can, do, like. ca they can do catch up. Do catch up. Um, Scylla says Christmas party hosted by me at the LWT studios with her top guests such as Wincy Willis well we did try and show that once but we were nabbed by uh, yeah we were nabbed by, YT. by the YouTube police Andrea Gawler used to love it it'll be alright on the night with Dennis Norton da, 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 da. Uh, definitely Morecambe and Wise says Dale do, 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 da, da. right Alan's light, light entertainment. entertainment let's head to Alan is the TV Panto. There would always be the odd little Panto on, wouldn't there? I can't remember Pantos on until I was older with, like, Denise Van Outen and stuff. I know, that's, that's the ones I'm talking about. I quite like them, they're great. Especially if you had Julian Clary in it, if you did it, if you did any of them. Mm. And, of course, here, two of my favourites, Biggins and Battlebrush. Ah, oh. they, they should have done Pantos in the 80s, shouldn't they? With the, the classics, like I was, the um, Chase. I was saying, wasn't I, the, the other year, that you know when you used to watch a programme in November or December, it'd say, 
Uh, June Whitfield is currently at Morecambe. <laughs> yeah. In Sleeping Beauty. Is that. They don't do that anymore, do they? Just Jane says, two Ronnie's Christmas special and the Stanley Baxter show. We've got a uh, comedy bit coming up. Um, Bethan's off as well. No, no, Bethan. Um, Basil and Biggins says, Because um, uh, Panther is obviously when most celebrities are working, aren't they? As well. Next one is comedy. Should we go straight to comedy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, my comedy. So my, my Christmas Day comedy telly is... Uh, Victoria Wood as seen on TV, the Christmas special. Um, I think this was on, most probably someone will correct me, but about 88, 87, 87, 88. And it wasn't really Christmassy, was it? No, but it was like my first kind of big love of Victoria Wood when I suddenly realised that I was a big old bender and loved Victoria Wood was this special. And it's got loads of like classics in it. It's got, excuse me, I think you'll find the spam on that. Um, it's got um, Wonder Home, have a Banbury Home. I think that's in it. Or Doorbells, Doorbells. might be in it. Um, and then it ends with The Chippy, which is one of my favourite Victoria Wood sketches. Um, Christmas 87, says Jason. I knew he'd know. Um, so yeah, that Christmas special is my favourite. And look at her in the background. She's about to go, no chips. <laughs> Total eclipse, unless you wait. Yeah, that's great. Uh, chips are off, says Jason Darcy. At the chippy, says A Street. Where there's something makes you jippy. Gippy, jippy, lippy. <laughs> um, Zilla says, Alan means I've pantos a- before the uh, Denise Van Outen era. I've done a plat. That's right, effective is that. Um, good Life Christmas episode is a classic, says Lee Ludlow. The only Good Life episode I adore is the one where they go, Margot helps with the harvest. The Christmas Day one, she wears a little paper hat, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah. Um... It's right effective, is that? Men out newspaper, aren't they? She's a bit... She's a bit... Yeah, because they, yeah, they have to have Christmas at the goods. Right, Alan's Christmas is... I had to wrestle with this one because, oh, I've got, I've got you know, so many, like um, the two Ronnies, Morecambe and Wise. But that has, has to be George and Mildred. Has to be, I watch them every year, the Christmas specials. How many are there? Um... Well, there won't be many because I think they did three or four series. I think there's three. Look at that hat, how high it is on Uther's head. And do you know what? She's got one underneath. <laughs> she pulls it off, there's one underneath. Um, uh, so I think this one was when um, uh, her sister and brother-in-law come round and they were not expecting them. So they um, think, oh, we haven't given them a present. So I think one of them gets an oven glove and the other gets a block of cheese. <laughs> but my favourite is when they're, when, they're, when um, Uther's doing, well, Mildred's doing Panto. And she has she gets, she gets laryngitis, so George has to step in and be a, a, a an ugly sister. An ugly sister. Um, yes. Good life. Vicar of Dibley Christmas specials takes the crown for Pip. Uh, Royal family Christmas specials for Alex Johnson. Oh yeah. Archie yeah, Diggins watched this yesterday. Um, Kenny Everett Christmas special for Ross Morgan. Um, Gavin and Space Stacy for Gemma Alexander. Last Motherland special. Um, Richard Bobbins Duffer has come in from drawing his um his doodars, his knackers and shackers. Waving the doodars at you. Um, the royal family. The, the one the one I really like is the one when they're just at home, and uh, they have Christmas dinner at home. And I think is it where where I wasn't keen when they went off into a oh, caravan. No, we didn't like that one. And I wasn't uh, when they go to Denise the and where, Dave's. No, the one where Anthony's girlfriend's parents come. That's a Christmas special. Oh yeah. And she's got implants. Yeah. And something else. <laughs> so the next bit is a Christmas Day drama. Um, so I've chosen... Okay, it was hard for me to choose something, but I've chosen like a Christmas special. So when your favourite TV programmes do Christmas specials, mm. so there's like heart-to-heart Christmas specials. They're slightly longer, aren't they? Slightly longer. So Moonlighting Christmas specials, there are two of them. Um, this one... I th- think is called Twas the Night Before Christmas or something like that. And the other one is um, a bit like It's a Wonderful Life or Christmas Carol. Mm. And um, in that one um, she doesn't meet David Addison so they never get Moonlight in Detective Agency. So she goes to where it was and it's run by um, Max and Freeway and it's called the Heart Detective Agency from Heart to Heart so it's almost a crossover. 
But this one ends with them all singing um, to camera. They get like one of those lovely moonlighting bits where they go off set and suddenly you see all the crew and the cameras. And so that that is my Christmas Day drama. Alan's Christmas Day drama is... Oh, a good Poirot. Especially when it's Christmas themed. Yeah. yeah. Is that actually called Hercule Poirot's Christmas? There, there is a Christmas episode, yeah. What's she handing him? Poison toffee. No, she's handing Miss Kane. He's getting ready to go out. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I like a good. I like a good old like um, mystery Christmas mystery. Um, Michael Burke's nine 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 Xmas special. It was like a normal episode of nine nine nine, but it showed people falling off ladders whilst they were hanging lights and stuff. So that's DM. Um, Doctor Who or ghosts and for Gemma and love moonlighting back in the day. Yeah, Christmas Doctor Who was a big thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, good choice, Alan. First Age Comics. Um, Wal- Waters of the Moon with Penelope Keith says Gareth. Miss Marple was a sort of Christmassy thing as well. I did think about a Miss Marple. So I remember the BBC Miss Marple's always being Christmas Day. Yeah. Um, Mark Mundayman says, I never understood why Albert Square people stay at home at Christmas. Something's going to go wrong. Um... Oh, yes, I love a good Poirot, especially with David Suchet. Um, SDM says there isn't a 999 Christmas special. He made it up just, made for, it up. A, just for a giggle. <laughs> it's supposed to be something they'll do now. Um, so we've watched our comedy. We've watched our kids' show. We've watched light entertainment. We've watched our drama. It's time to settle down to a Christmas movie. So I have... It depends on my mood. Mm. But I've either got Die Hard or Tootsie. So it depends on my mood. I know Tootsie's not a Christmas movie, but it just feels right for Christmas. Die Hard I love. I think Die Hard then perhaps Tootsie the day after. Yeah, Mm. but I love Die Hard. Um, It is a Christmas movie. Look, Christmas tree and Santa behind him. Um, Yeah, I love it. So Die Hard would most probably be my Christmas movie. If I'm in the mood for a bit of a laugh, I'll watch Tootsie or some at 80s like that. Um, Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins, says Philippe Jacques. Um, Tushy Rushworth says, am I the only person looking forward to watching Mrs. Brown's Boys? No, Paul McFarlane will be. Jane Wagner, Tootsie. Um, the Holiday, says Gareth. <laughs> uh, Die Hard, Lee Ludlow. Rocky Four, says Alex Johnson. Has to be Die Hard, Ross Morgan. Batman Returns. Yeah, we watched that. Oh, that was a, yeah. It's Christmassy. Um, Seven Network. I loved as a kid the cartoon version of The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, which was first shown on ITV on East Sunday in 1980. A Christmas Story, says A Street 26. Well, we didn't get Christmas Story, did we? It was not no. a big deal over here. Is that when the little boy licks the yeah. lamppost? Um, Archie Diggins says, will you stop with all your Bruce Willis? I know, I'm a bit Oh, yeah, it's a bit, me, of, a th- bit of a theme going in there. The Grinch, Wizard of Oz... Rocky Horror on Boxing Day for Tushy Rushworth. Home Alone for Sarah Simpson. Um, Alan, Scream Queen. Oh, tough one. She's having a think. Um, Alan's Christmas Day movie is... This is, bef- I would say, Christmas Eve, this one. I, w- I don't think I can watch this Christmas Day or Boxing Day. Because, you know... Because it's Christmas is over. Yeah, it is. But I do like this film. Right. I, I watch it every year on my own. Because you really, you're not really into it, are you? It's a bit long for me. It's like the um, the one with Gemma Craven where she's Cinderella. Uh, oh, the um, the um, shoe and the thing. The, the slipper yeah, in the rose. Slipper in the, the shoe and the thing. Yeah, that's what I'd call it. Oh, that one, the shoe and the thing. The shoe and the thing in the bob. Um, Sonia D says, any NAF Channel 5 Christmas film to ask me why? Or like a Hallmark movie, Oh. Sonia. The saw- Family Stone, says Caroline. Planes, Trains and Automobiles, says Lucy. Um, it's lovely. There's a, I mean, there's a fair few films I like to watch over Christmas, but this is must be one of them. But I'd watch Home Alone. I'd do a Home Alone marathon. I think. Yeah, Gremlins. I'd watch Gremlins one, not two. Yeah. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. It's not that's Marvel's not our thing. Tushy Rushworth, so we wouldn't get that. Um, Alice Sims Christmas Carol for just Jane. Summer twenty one says, "Oh, two nice images of Bruce." Scylla Black's a little bit livid, the ghost of Scylla Black, because there's been no Scylla shows on our dream schedules. 
I, I can't really recall any, to be honest. Still, uh, your she, Christmas, I know she was about. Christmas special was going to be my light entertainment choice, but it got pulled last time we even mentioned it. I'm on not even sure YouTube. there was. A, I'm not even sure Surprise Prize wasn't over at Christmas, was it? Surprise Surprise. It was actually a summer thing. No, there was Scylla. Surely you did a surprise, surprise Christmas special and a blind date one with old people. Mm. Um, Jim Davidson's Cinderella. <laughs> we like, <laughs> so like some baby blue. Uh, Gemma from the other side of Aldi says, a bit of Pixar on Christmas Day. Up is a favourite. Oh, yes. Oh, but Up. Like the first 10 minutes, 15 minutes of Up. Oh, we're blubbering, Amazing. We? We'll be blubbering. The rest of it. <laughs> The rest of it, I think, is a bit pants with all them talking dogs and stuff. I could we do like with, a talking dog. I could do without the, the rest of it. Uh, meet me in St. Louis for Kate. Um, Jason says, I love, I like Marvel. It goes great with coffee. Um, blind date, Christmas special, last series. Chris, uh, Scylla resigned oh. on air. And, and so everybody was out of work as well, weren't they? Yeah, apparently all the crew weren't told. So Scylla resigning meant they were all out of work. At yeah, Christmas. Um... Laurel and Hardy for Alex Johnson, the fixer uppers. They go around <coughs> selling Christmas cards. It's so funny. Watch it every year. There's a German program that uh, Germans watch every Christmas Eve, I think, and it's about an English lady and her butler. Oh, it's yeah, an old black and white this, film. I've got we've got to watch it at some point. When I work in Germany, they're always talking about it. Well, I haven't got a clue. So then we're going to end our evening with, with a bit of late night telly. Late night telly. So, Alan will be surprised, but my late night telly choice is probably we'll get a DVD out or we'll have a look on ITV2 or ITV3, most probably. Mm. And we'd watch something like that. Oh, you see, this to me is Boxing Day onwards. <laughs> Boxing Day, the day after Boxing Day, the day after Boxing Day. Then I'll be put like one, you know, that sort of thing. Or, yes, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir, the movie. Uh, what's the other one? Um, Man About the House movie, George and Mildred the movie. Lily Law says it's called Dinner for One, the German thing I was thinking of. Yeah, the on the buses films, a carry on film, something like that, late night, pop a DVD on. You don't really have to think, do you? Bit <laughs> bit pissed by then. Um have a laugh with Alan about that. That yeah. would be that would be it for me. Alan's movie is Well, late spent, night Alan's late night telly. We spent so long talking about our dream place, didn't we? We could have stretched this episode out over all our Christmas ones. Alan's late night Christmas day telly is. Oh, you need a Christmas ghost story. A ghost story. Oh yes, whistling on, whistling on, come to you. Um, yeah, I love them. I know. I, I mean, I've watched quite a lot of these over the years, and I mean, they're not really like scary, scary. But there's, you know, there's that sort they, of like you put you they put your hairs on end. Yeah, yeah a little that shiver. Sort of like, you know, you sat by a, a fire in the dark watching it, and a little bit, it's a little bit spooky. Uh, SCM says Cell Block H. It was always on late night telly. Every time I'd, I'd hear the theme tune, I remember waking up and going, "Oh no, I've missed it." They only had one Christmas episode, didn't they? Uh, Lee Bloody Ludlow says a Christmas horror film. Oh, like Black Christmas. Um, Philippe Jack says late night at Christmas. Are you mad? I'm usually begging to go to bed at nine. Uh, Gemma probably rewatching Doctor Who the episode from that day without having to have it to explain it to all the family who are lightweights i do love an mr james adaptation as well i think that's what mm. this is isn't it yeah inside number nine's christmas special yeah they're good um scream queen have you come up with your film yet linda lucy says christmas inside number nine seven yeah. network airplanes a great non-christmas mm. but a good christmas watch i love i love films that later well stuff on the christmas night later is just something you don't need to think about. Tracy Thirty's asked a good question, and you all know the answer. She says, "Carry on." Did they never make a holiday movie? They did make holiday they made, specials. They made lots they? of little things like "Carry on Christmas" and "Carry on Stuffing." And they all were that. for telly. They were telly ones. They're most probably on the YouTube. So they're just little sketches, with with them in. Um, but no, there wasn't a movie. Alex Clark has taken. Oh, excuse me. Just one really, really. Alex Clark has taken us over to Boxing Day and says. He's popping on Housewife 49 and Three Salons at the Seaside. Three Salons at the Seaside, definitely. Nice choice, yeah, Alex Clark. Lovely. Boxing Day is a nice day to watch movies because you're sort of like... Scream Queen can't decide on her movie, so you can offer her up a Christmas movie. What's the one with Joan Collins? Oh, um, Tales from the Crypt. Is it? Is that what it's called? Mm. Tales from the Crypt, where Joan Collins gets hunted by Santa. After, after she kills her husband for the insurance. <laughs> 
Uh, SGM, Shirley Valentine. That's a late night BBC movie, Christmas. She says, it was the first time, I was my first time seeing it, Xmas 92. Um, I was 14 and my mother still didn't latch onto my preferences. <laughs> I like the fact that none of our lists in, include like carols from Winchester <laughs> Cathedral. Thor heard joining us from... Or oh, the Queen's Salisbury. Speech. I like the guy. I just like the Queen's Speech because I, I, I won't, I won't watch it. it there and then. But I'd watch it like you know a day or two later. How would you watch it a day or two later? Back in oh, the eighties. Oh no, not I'm on about now. But obviously there won't be one this year, will there? There'll be a King's Speech. No, there'll be the King's Speech, won't there? Was there one last year? There was a King's Speech. Was I did? Did I? Oh, I did watch. Yeah, it was good. I can't be frigged. Um... Dale says, whenever we were at the in-laws for Christmas, I'd go home to walk our dogs, um, our dogs that we had at the time, and I'd not return until after Doctor Who. Cheeky Dale. Oh, because they weren't ruined. Um, Gareth from Porto says, you won't see the Christmas special while you're being served on telly, because they all dress as blackface Santas. <laughs> um, Richard Ribbons Bobbin stuff says, I love Tales from the Crypt. Perfect start to Christmas. And SDM says, I'd love to see Thor ahead and I'm a celebrity. <laughs> Wouldn't we all? I think we did a, a dream. Maggie Bog did a dream I'm a celebrity lineup, And I think Dusty Bin was one of them, wasn't it? Yeah, and I a think, British, she, or I think Metal she Mickey. said he's going he's to surprise you. Because <laughs> he could do that. He could turn around. He, he'd, he'd eat any old shit, Dusty, That bit was he? most impressive. <laughs> They've actually, um, somebody's actually put... Um, full length episodes of three to one on on YouTube now. Are there? Yeah. So, and I've talk about Christmas. I mean, I, I should have put, I should have put it on my light entertainment, but um, Larry Grayson's Generation Game at Christmas. Oh, none of the none of the Melon they're, Sue. They're on they're on uh, YouTube. There's the odd Christmas Generation Game. You were frigged off about Miranda today, weren't you? And um, I said, oh, I wish Miranda was back and there was a Christmas special. Well, that's the sort of thing. If you go to somebody's house and you're dictated by their choices... You'd have to be in like, oh, there's Miranda. a Miranda special. And it's not half an hour. It's like an hour. <laughs> and then what was the other one I said? I can't remember. It's in, um... It was Miranda and something else. Oh, Gavin and Stacey. Now, I'm not a big Gavin and Stacey fan. I remember one year the world was rocked by the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special. <laughs> I don't know why, but... Um... Tushy Rushworth said it'd be great to see Thora Heard sitting in a Shackleton high seat chair in the jungle. Oh, then lovely. <laughs> She'd love it in the he, jungle, wouldn't she? I think, wait, was it just Yorkshire TV that had Shackleton high seat? Do you remember Shackleton high seat chair? No. She'd say, oh, they have over 130 to choose from. And she'd sort of sit aside well, the chair. Well, Thora would. Now, this, this woman who looked like her. And she said, they're lovely. <laughs> we'll have to try and find the advert to play. All right, lovelies, we've overrun. We always overrun because we have such a nice time ch chatting with you all. But officially, you can go to bed now because we've finished. Yeah. So um, let me remind you. You can go you to bed whenever you want, really. That there. Well, we're always on catch up. If ever you miss some of it or miss an episode. So you, your tips are always appreciated. We get little surprise tips sometimes. Some. Like sometimes someone will just suddenly tip us something, and if you'd like it a, our little a Christmas card from Maggie Bog or the Pies or the the nuns of Gabby Abbey, just pop to our website. Yeah, they are they they um they've gone out in the post already, so people are receiving them. They're very funny. So if you would like a Christmas card, it's not just like written to so and so from Maggie Bog. No, there's, there's like stuff in there. There's comedy comedy gold within. Um, there's something and each one's each one's special yeah I mean those who've had a pie card will know that the, the little cartoon drawing is their one-offs yeah so you must uh, if you do want one the three ninety nine that includes the postage and uh, it's handwritten to you and I, like it is it is more than just a two so and so Sonia D says I've got one from Pam Pie it's fabulous now hers had a picture of her and Stu in it what, drawn by Pam Pie? Yeah. <laughs> and Helen, yours is on his way. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what Pam Pie, had, Pam Pie and Mr Pie are doing, but it includes you. Um, thanks for a lovely evening down the boozer, says Gemma Alexander. Well, it's not over yet. So if you want to have a lock-in, hang out with us, because I've got some more drink coming. But 
I found some gold for the finale today. So, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Dana singing a disco version of Send in the Clowns by Stephen Sondheim. Hey. We'll see you on the other side of this. <laughs> I was saying, Jamo, I was a bit scared by chuckles, cuddles, cuddles, cuddles. There's like a, there's a whole like cuddles family in that, and they're all they're all like they must be children wearing cuddles outfits. The one the one thing I love about things like that is um, for anybody who's been in like um, a play or a, a panto or a show, will know that that the chorus of girls were in those satin dresses would have had a little bit of a gossip about Dana, wouldn't they? <laughs> And I said, oh, she's, you know, she's, she's like this or that, or she's very nice, or she's a bit of a bitch. Oh. Um, Patrick Little has popped in to say, I thought there was something else when it popped on my YouTube. This stuff is boring. I've had to unsubscribe. Well, thank you for subscribing for at least 20 minutes, because you have to, to leave a comment like that. Oh, enjoy your life. <laughs> enjoy your life, Patrick. Lots of love to Patrick Little. Bye-bye. Um... Scream Queen says, I'm having Love Boat flashback episode flashbacks. Not a good thing. Scream oh. Queen, you won't know any of those things that were just happening then. But that's a Christmas, old, Christmas special from, I think, 1985. Of course, Keith Harris and Orville was always around at Christmas, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess on Blankety Blank or... <laughs> um, Keith Harris in very tight pants, says Linda, Linda, Lily Law. Linda Hughes just says, oh my. Um, where did Keith spring from, says Scylla? So I'm sorry, Scylla, that we didn't play one of your Christmas specials, which I'd love to, but you know what it's like. We can't. We just can't play it. Um, Dale Ibbotson says, that routine took a turn. Alan uh, spotted that all of the crowd were just painted. Yeah, a bit scary. Yeah, it's like Dana's trapped in like Keith's strange playhouse. Um, Thanks for coming, Patrick, says Jason. And Scylla Black says, goodbye, Patrick. Don't come back. (laughs) You have been evicted. Goodbye. I hate that duck, says Jason. Um, but they don't do shows like that anymore, do they? They don't do big numbers or... Well, there's Hannah, Hannah Waddingham. She's doing a Christmas oh, yeah. special yeah. this year. Yeah, but th- th- that's that's quite new, isn't it, that sort of show? Is it? I mean, they do the um, Palladium thing, don't they, still? Uh, the, the, Royal... the Royal Variety Show. Does that still happen? Yeah, but that's not a Christmassy thing, is it? Is it not? No, it happens in November, doesn't it? Oh, I thought it was over And Christmas. it's whoever wins... Britain's Got Talent goes mm. on it. 
Well, I'm seeing a dog. <laughs> Martin Garton Spence would like to remind us all, actually, it's really funny that this... He'd like to remind us that Dana, who we've just seen discoing Send in the Clowns, stood for election as the president of Ireland. <laughs> Um, Tushy Rushworth and, has sent us the Shackleton advert. And um, she did uh, the Brookside theme, didn't she? She sang the Brookside theme. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think someone mentioned Dana singing the Brookside theme. Um, ITV are very protective of the copyright of the LWT archive, says Scylla. Um, Dale says, I couldn't decide if the audience were cut out or not. My eyes are getting worse. Um, they were happy there. They were, they were enjoying Dana. Uh, Gareth says, a load of the Seaside Show specials have just been uploaded to YouTube HD and everything. Ooh, nice. What's Peggy? Is Peggy grumbling back grumbling. down there? There she is. She's in a, she's in a she mood. Was... It's cold up here. We'll have to... Um... We'll have to take her down and yeah. give some sausages. Um, Ribbons Bobbin Duffer says, will Patrick be at our next do? <laughs> Not really, thank you. We all know that Patrick's still watching. That's what's the funny bit Patrick, of it. Patrick, no offence, dolls. <laughs> We're not offended at all. <laughs> we're not everybody's cup of tea, are we? No, we're not. It's the fact that... No. It's, it's, it's trying. You had to like wait 20 minutes to comment. That's the funny bit. Because you have to do that on YouTube because we set it up. Yeah. For people like you and your little brain. We don't, um, we don't have to like us. We're not, we're not asking to be liked, are we? Right, lovelies. I think that's us done. Are we well, gonna... That's us done now. That's done with Patrick. Empty glasses. We've well, uh, got loads left. We've got a dog that needs got loo. We're um, we're enjoying Squid Games: The Challenge mm. on um, Netflix at the moment, so we might watch that tonight. Oh, is the new ones back on? Yeah, and also we're enjoying. We just started Boat Story last night on BBC iPlayer, and that mm. looks good. Yeah. And then it'll be November. It'll be December in a couple of days, won't it? I don't know. For, oh no, quiz live quiz. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a poor Patrick. There's 20 minutes you'll never get back. Can you imagine coming to this and not knowing what it's about? And it's but just. Why would you just go anyway? Us why why to, would you have to wait? Just for, to get your just, little jibe in. Just to tell us. Us two chundering on about this sort of crap. And then Dana singing Disco Stephen Sondheim. <laughs> right, loves. We shall end with. Well, let's hope that Patrick's still here. Because leave Patrick alone. We will end Let him go. with... Um, should we end with Julia Brogan? Because that'll just really yeah, seal the Yeah, that'll really put the cherry on the cake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love. So we will end with the Brookside cast. Uh, we're here next week, aren't we? We are. Yes. Yep. Singing their charity single that never was. Um, and we will see... Those of you who are seeing live on Friday night, we'll see you on Friday night. And uh, we'll pop a few photos on. Yeah, and the rest of... For those... For who are interested. Rest of you we'll see you on Wednesday. All right, week. darlings. Have a great right. week. Weekend. Bye. Bye. And here with their own song, let them know. The cast of Brookside with special guest Ruby Turner.
without sin It is a must to get in touch To be a new life you're making Spare a 